Well, hello. We're playing The Last Door. I don't remember last time I recorded this. I just know last time I recorded this that, um, what you want to call it? And yes, I don't do face cams, but one of the reasons is I'm usually super lazy <laughs> for a record. And I do not feel like putting makeup on or getting ready or whatever else when uh, what is it called? Why well, I'm working from home in this quarantine 2020 days, but I will in the future, potentially. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, um, we're playing the last door. I guess this has horror elements to it. If I don't know what to do, I might have to have that about the crow. <laughs> if, um, what do you call it? If I, if I don't know what to do, I'm gonna look at the bag. Oh, and I forgot to introduce myself, I think. It's close quiz games. Welcome back. <laughs> Father Clock, it is the only sound around here. Same All the movies where they're like, the power of Christ compels you. That's not biblical. And if you ever want to ask me about theology, I can explain because I actually went to Bible school for two years. And just not very in people's face about it. Because it's a relationship. And it's a personal it's a personal relationship you have to be willing to make yourself. So I'm not gonna hit anyone's face, I'm not gonna find because I want to be myself. Like, I hear some people talking about alcohol and so on and so forth. They're like, well, I'm taking some liquid Jesus courage. <laughs> I hear liquid Jesus courage. So, you know? Small photographs and old Dugura types, mostly family portraits. But he was basically saying, um, old latch, something, something. <laughs> He's basically saying, I need a small tool to open up this door. Using the hairpin, I have managed to spring the latch with these. <gasps> Yay, progress! Every time that bird sounds, it just breaks my heart, you guys. A link's mounted and stuff. This is a fine work of taxidermy. Mm -hmm. Handwritten notes. That 
goddamn cat. He meows every night, and he, and it, and it's for me. I know it. He's mocking me. He knows my secret. He knows. Yeah, you can tell someone's going crazy when they start thinking the animals know. Honestly, I'm gonna be real. I think what happens when people have done stuff that dehumanizes us, um, that stuff drives you crazy. Like, look at Ted Bundy and all these other, like, well-known serial killers and stuff. Like, the first time they killed or did, did wrong stuff like that, and it wasn't self-defense, it wasn't XYZ, they did it because they wanted to, or they did it and they went into, like, a deep depression. So, yeah. Anyway, let me get back to the game. I don't know why I'm being so phys- philosophical. Philosophical. I can't speak today. Physiological. Physiological. Oh my gosh, I can't say words. But goddamn cat. He meows every night, and it is for me. I know it. He's mocking me. He knows my secret. He knows. I will not let him ruin everything. I do not have any choice. I have to put him into his miserable life. <sighs> Or better yet, I will blind him. Gabby, Gabby Links, you would not confess. No, not you. Some sort of spilled chemical product. It seems strongly, it smells strongly of vinegar. There is a trap door with a keyhole reinforced with gold.
Did I just kill the bird? Oh. I feel really bad. <laughs> I feel really bad. I didn't even mean to do that. Now I feel bad. I'm a horrible person. I just killed the dying bird. I don't care if you say I put him on suffering. a fucking kid I'm gonna kick your ass <laughs> it's like my one drawback if you're an adult you can do what you want as long as you're not hurting other people Turn out like you. So anyway, have a great day. Until next time.